Good evening, Oregon. I'm Kasha Hall here in the Oregonian newsroom and OregonLive.com. It's Friday, December 19th, and thanks for joining me for Crime Time News, a roundup of the top crime stories this week. Last week, we told you about the shooting outside Rosemary Anderson High School that injured four people. This week, police have made three arrests in connection with the shooting. 16-year-old Marquise D'Angelo Murphy, 22-year-old Lonzo Murphy, and 28-year-old Markel Dugas were arrested. Two of the victims, 20-year-old David Jackson Lede and 20-year-old LeBray Franklin, were released from the hospital this week. Taylor Zimmers, who was shot Friday, is reportedly in fair condition at Legacy Emanuel. A fourth victim was treated at the scene for a grazing wound. Portland police are looking for a 43-year-old man suspected of throwing four live pipe bombs onto the street as he fled from a police pursuit on Thursday. Police say Neil Allen Pancho released the pipe bombs near Southeast 45th and Flavel. The bombs never detonated, but officers ended the pursuit. Authorities say Pancho has an extensive arrest and conviction record and remains at large. A former Nike employee pleaded guilty Wednesday to playing a central role in a conspiracy to sell hundreds of stolen limited edition sneakers ordered directly from the company factory in China for at least two years. Kyle Yamaguchi was ordered to pay $50,000 as part of a plea deal. A 30-year-old woman who spat on a TriMet bus driver and ripped out the hair of a Portland police officer in July was sentenced to 19 months of prison and two years of post-prison supervision. She pleaded guilty to assaulting a public safety officer, resisting arrest, and interfering with public transportation. And finally this evening, this week, Joe Rose brought you the story of how someone is stealing tiny rear wheels from car-to-go rental car pods parked around town. Why is this happening? Well, we don't know, but some of our readers offered up these theories. I am observant, says, perhaps someone needed spare tires for their Matchbox Hot Wheels collections. Cody, on the other hand, says, I guarantee it's for an art piece. And Common Sense asks, why did they just steal the tires? Why didn't they just pick up the whole car and walk away? That's all I've got for you this week. Crime Time News is taking a break for a week, so I'll see you after the new year. Good night.